Jaya ho! Jaya. <laughs> um, what's the title for this video? How to be committed to evolve in your relationship, in your couple. Yeah. We, we were checking that, that one out and realized that uh, one of the core qualities that we are embodying and we encourage you to, to check it out is to realize that the moment mm. you open space to keep on evolving within your relationship or within the connection that you have with your lover, um, there is always room for more expansion. Mm. It's the moment we lock things within frames that are really static that suddenly we feel locked and then we need to step out yeah. of that connection or that relationship to keep on evolving. So having being spacious enough to uh, to allow change to happen, even if that change can be significant, you know, it can be something that radically shifts the dynamics of what you're sharing with somebody, is simply to be op always open and flexible to, to evolve. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and I have a few few things come to me about this topic. I think it's a really important topic. Um, one is the evolution that occurs in a relationship really is kind of the aliveness and the juice. Like when you're on your edge and when you're growing and when you don't know what's gonna happen and when you're open to the unknown, that's like a really juicy space to be in. So while a lot of us kind of crave the comfort of really knowing what this is all about and having like the really clear boundaries and all of that. There's nothing wrong with any of that, but um, just maybe keeping in mind that like the, that edge of expansion is keeps aliveness in a relationship. And um, so that's one thing I wanted to say. What was the other thing I wanted to say? Oh, the, the place where there is, there is trigger or the place where there is, yeah. yeah, that where we get stacked, where we feel stuck, is actually the exact place that you are being called to evolve. That, that space of being stuck is the space of contraction, is typically the space where you're buying into a certain conditioning in yourself. So it's actually the exact spot. It feels like the spot that there's like, there's nothing else to do in this spot and I need to just get out of here. But it's actually the gem. It's the spot where it's like, what is this inside of me that creates this feeling of stuckness? What belief system? What energy am I buying into? What pattern? And when we bring our awareness to that experience, whatever that really hard place is in the relationship, if you bring your awareness, then just by bringing presence and awareness and, and being able to witness it but not be identified with it, that's when the spaciousness starts to open up and that's where the evolution takes place. So mm -hmm. those places that are stuck, oh, they're so hard to be in, mm -hmm. but they're also like, it wants you to see it. It wants you to see what is what's happening right here mm -hmm. so I don't know if that's vague or if that makes sense but yeah um, that's beautiful yeah that's what I've really found yeah. that's something that's been like major in this, in this dynamic, dynamic yeah. is yeah. like coming up against my own edges and finally looking at them and being like what belief system brings me back to this place over and over again and if I can just stay with that and really look at it and not buy into the belief system I've evolved a ton. I've spaciousness has opened up, and I've grown and changed. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. for me, there has been—I um, would say—that the moments precisely where the energy gets stacked and you know concentrated in a in a challenge in a in a challenge area. What I notice is that sometimes my whole system feels like it's going to explode. Like the the, the need for the the energetic breakthrough is so strong that mm. I'm in like oh, mm -hmm. in so much energetic pain, and then suddenly something happens where. The, you, you find a way through which might be a simple new mindset, you know, uh, a simple idea or something that I start doing that eventually is going to start allowing the energy to flow in a new direction and create a new bubble or a new space mm. of, of energy and expansion. And uh, for instance, for me, the, the, the big gains of, of being in this with you has been really, um, for instance, energetic flexibility or emotional flexibility. It's like before I would see things in a much more linear way, whereas now it's like, 
it's become so fluid and so yeah. spontaneous. You know, instead of being like, okay, we're on a date, here's what's supposed to be happening, and, and having like this queer idea, it's like, it's like what you have been suggesting was anything can happen. Yes. Absolutely anything can happen, so be spacious enough to, to receive any, any of the spontaneity that can happen there. And that has been in the process of, of my own evolution yes. there, it has been massive. Because uh, if, if I didn't go with it, you know, we would have been done a long time ago already. Right, right, right. And it meant you having to keep coming up against that uncomfortable space that's like, no, wait, oh, there's a contraction here. It's supposed to be different. It's supposed to be different. But you kept, you allowed yourself to keep coming up against it. And then it was like, wait, is it supposed to be different? Maybe there's room for something else. And that's where the spaciousness opens up. And then it's like, wow, I'm so flexible now. How did yeah. that happen? Yeah. yeah, it's really cool. And it's what's what's interesting as well is that we become agents to each other's evolution, right? It's Absolutely. like if I wasn't around Shelly, there are lots of things that she would not face in the same the other way around. Yeah. It's like you have been a trigger for me facing certain things that I didn't even know were limiting patterns inside of me. Yes. And that now, because I integrated those new things, I feel like I'm a much more yes. powerful and better person. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's why a relationship is really can aid so much in our evolution because it's going to bring you up against fears and contractions and belief systems and and um, conditioning that you are not going to face on your own. Like if I'm on my own hanging out by myself, like I don't have to come up against my fear of abandonment, my fear of uh, betrayal, my fear of being of deceit, like all these different, like really intense conditioning yeah, that's in my system. It's when relating with him, with a man, that all that stuff starts to surface. And sometimes we think, oh, something's really wrong here when that's surfacing. But the truth is it's coming up to be seen and cleansed through and let go and I'm gosh I was talking about this morning like I can't believe how much my conditioning is loosening because I've been willing to stick with looking at what surfaces the hard stuff that surfaces here so beautiful. With you. So, yeah, yeah wow grateful. so if you want to remember just one thing from this video is just commit yourself to keep on evolving yeah within, commit yourself